hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we look at how we can install the latest version of ubuntu on uh, virtualbox and we're going to be using the new version of virtualbox i have virtualbox open here and at the top left you can see the icon has changed if you want to see the version we can go to help about virtualbox the version is 7.1.4 this is the new look so the first thing we need to do is download the iso image for ubuntu so we open a browser and search for Ubuntu download and then go to ubuntu.com here you, we have the LTS version which is 24.04 and we also have the newest version which is 24.10 and you can look at the system requirements here memory is 4 GB so that's what's recommended to download it just click on download and then here click on download again and your download should begin here now I already downloaded this file so I'm gonna X this out. Once you have the ISO image we can begin the installation. What you should get should be see so you should get a file of this size which is a five about five and a half GBs and it's the 2410 version. Now to begin the install click on new on VirtualBox and then name your virtual machine. 2410 then you can select the location of the folder where you want to install the virtual machine uh, we're not selecting the ISO image right now you can select the type it's Linux it's Ubuntu and it says Ubuntu 64 bit we are not doing an unattended install so let's go to hardware you can increase this to 4 GB if you want and then two CPUs let's look at the uh let's look at the hard disk you can increase this to 35 and then click finish here right click go to settings here we want to attach the iso image so click on storage and then click on empty click on this icon click on choose that disk file then select your 2410 iso image click open now it's attached and you can go through the settings here and make whatever changes you need to for me I'll change this to bridge adapter that's what I do that's what I use for the network and under display we can increase the video memory and then you might want to change this to the first option sometimes if you use the default you run into errors so use vbox vga click OK now we can start this virtual machine right click start normal start and here it's uh, saying try or install Ubuntu that's what we want so click enter to select that option and let me go ahead and minimize this So I'm going to be pausing the video every now and then and we're coming back when I have to input something. Okay, at this window we need to select the language. So I'm going with the default. I'll click on next here. And then I'll click on next. Keyboard, English, next. Here I'm going to go with the default. Use wired connection, next. And then I'll go with the option to install Ubuntu next. I'll go with the default next. You can install these options, but I'm gonna. I can install. I can always install those later. So I'll click on next. I'll go with the option to erase disk and install Ubuntu so I click on next here you can put your name then you need your computer name and username and password and then confirm your password next 
you'll need to select your time zone here I'll go with the default next and then click install and I'll pause the video again okay at this point the installation is complete we can restart now so it's saying to remove the installation media then press enter let's see settings storage nothing is attached so press enter here and now we are at the login screen just use it just use the password you set up just use the password that you set up when you did the installation now we are logged in let's open the terminal control alt Uh, we can check the version we can do cut let's see OS release the version is 2410 you can check make sure you have an IP address I have a valid IP and you can make sure you have internet access being say account 5 google google.com and I'm able to ping google.com that means I have internet connectivity so that's all for this video that's how you can install the new version of Ubuntu Linux on uh, the new version of VirtualBox so I hope this information has been helpful I'll catch you in my next video thanks bye